for the open that would stay consistent so the first of every eight notes is the open and then work it um, and when you get to where it's sloppy back it up a little bit okay so that's the concept for that um, last page page five I really like this one um, I just kind of was noodling with this idea thinking of Nuno something he would do and here's what I came up with Let's see. I need to play it slower because I just wrote it but it's a four pattern and, and we're going to change just a certain few notes around um, and I like the palm muting concept of it. 14-12 on the D and G, I go palm mute down down, up on 15 G, pull off to 12, so we have four times. So you get this down down up feel. Then we're going to change one thing. We're going to go to 13D, keep everything else the same. So we have... If you don't like the palm muting, don't palm mute it. I like it with it because it's just more choppy. Then 12th fret bar D and G, same concept though. Four times. 12, 12, 15, pull to 12. So our melody's going. And then 11 D, 12 G, 14 pull 12 G. It's kind of a weird one. But we're moving our half step all the way through. 10 on the D, 12 on the G, probably the one of the tougher ones. 14 on the G, pulling to 12. Same concept though. Right? So we came off of this. Do it slower. And then from there, we move to 9D, 12G, 14G, pull to 12. So we're just moving the root again. Dang it. From there, so basically... Okay, from there, we're almost done. We're going to flip this over to, oh no, we're not, 9, 10, D, G, 14 pull to 12 on the G, so it, then, this is kind of cool transition, 10, D, 9, G, we're just reversing that, this, to that. So it's 10, 9, D, G, 12, G, full 9. Which is a major triad. Now we're going to go to a minor and some stuff. 10, D, 8, G, 12, G, pull to 8. So we have... And then I wanted to end it with just something cool. Ah. But I'm going to do it 
slow, so you can hear that it really does sound good. It's a G major arpeggio. 10, 9, A, and D. These are all down strokes. 7, 8, 7, 10, up. So it's Slide to 15. Pull off to 10. As a matter of fact, bar it. So you can go up on 10. They're up on 12. So you'll go. Missing it. But still, you may want to bar it. 12, B, G, and D. Three ups. 14A, up, 10A down, 12D, 14G, slide to 16, so it ends with. Sometimes I'm working on stuff that like I just created, like that being one of them. So don't have it completely at the speed I want myself, but I know how to approach it, you know? You know, I may stop at the 15 and get used to that. See? Because I'm missing it once in a while. Then work on the pull off to the 10. Then we get the rest. Anyways, um, one of my favorites, Sarah. It's Nuno Bittencourt. Thank you. Um, it was a major challenge because it's Nuno, one of the best. So I hope I did it justice for you. Definitely in the style of the stuff he does. I hope a few of them aren't too tough for you because initially... You wanted help with that CBT I did for you on the extreme song, Hip Today. So I think I dialed some back. And if you think at, in the subgroup concept, I think that's going to be what helps you. Take the four notes. Don't worry about 32 of them. Take four of them and get used to the feel. Nuno plays a little lightning fast, short runs sometimes. So have fun and thank you very much, sir.